We're here at the beach in just 25 degrees Fahrenheit to work on a technique in Qigong or meditation to bring out your inner heat or energy. Just one of the many things that you can do with the regular practice of Qigong and meditation to get in touch with the Chinese call your Qi. What we're here to talk about in this video is the function of the pineal gland and how to decalcify it. Now if you don't know about it, many people are coming to realize about the pineal gland which is a pine cone shaped gland in the center of your brain where these two lines intersect. Now ancient cultures have known about this forever and the importance of it. I'm talking about the aspect of your brain that is responsible for your spiritual connection, your psychic abilities, telekinesis, and a connection to a higher consciousness. Now we know that ancient cultures know about this because we see it in their paintings and their sculptures such as the Greeks, Romans, Tibetans, Egyptians, even the Catholic Church has the largest statue representing a pineal gland in Vatican Square. Now unfortunately by 12 years old, most people's pineal gland are completely frozen in a layer of calcification that even shows up on x-rays and MRIs and the main reason is because of fluoride. That's right, the chemical in your water fluoride has been calcifying a part of your brain that's very important. In fact, Harvard University, amongst many other studies, recently did a study to show that it significantly reduces IQ in children. So what can we do about this to stop the calcification of this very important gland? For one, you can get a clean source of water. Uh, Findaspring.com, I'm going to include a link to below, is a great place to find that. If that's not an option for you, filter your water, but filtering isn't even a great option because even reverse osmosis only takes that 70 to 80 percent of the fluoride that's in the water. So other options are putting sweet basil as well as wheatgrass in it. Other things you want to do is get it out of your toothpaste. I have two all natural fluoride free toothpaste that you can make at home that you're really going to love on my site, theartofunity.com. Now, there are certain foods that increase the calcification of your pineal glands, such as processed or junk food, soda and other carbonated drinks, refined sugars and flour, conventional wine and tea, as well as other non-organic food also have fluoride in it because they use it as a pesticide. Processed meat like chicken fingers, chicken nuggets and deli meat, and hot dogs. Also stop using non-stick pans because they have a heavy fluoride content and put that in the food. Don't take calcium supplementation or at least don't take it without an equal amount of magnesium or more because magnesium takes it out of the veins and puts it into your bones where it's supposed to be. And avoid mercury especially in fish like tuna and mercury fillings. Now just knowing of the existence of your pineal gland and having an intention to decalcify it is going to help greatly. But there are also herbs and foods that can help you to decalcify it. For one, tamarindo fruit, skatefish or cod liver oil, spirulina and chlorella, wheatgrass and parsley, raw apple cider vinegar is very helpful, and iodine, boron, raw cocoa, oregano oil, and liver cleanses. Now healthy saunas or sweat lodges can also help you with this, but another thing you don't want to do is wear sunglasses because the, the sunlight will stimulate the pineal gland. Another thing you can do is chant the word love coming from your diaphragm, moving all the way up your chakras into your third eye chakra where your pineal gland is located. That's done like this. Love. And you allow your teeth to vibrate with the chant. Now this is something I highly recommend you do and it's going to be very beneficial for every aspect of getting into a deeper meditation as well as aspects of memory and intuition and getting in touch with the higher consciousness of your being. Good luck with this. I hope it works well for you.